Ian here from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon brand story. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. What you'll need to do is go to the A Plus Content Manager in your Amazon Seller Central account. And by the way, this feature, Brand Stories, is only available to people who have brands or a company that has brands. And just to give you a quick example of what it actually looks like, uh, this is this is the brand story on one of my product pages. You can see the product information's up here, and then if you scroll down, uh, you can find the brand story. It's called From the Brand. In this particular product page, it appears above the A plus content. So A plus content and brand story, they're they're separate on the page, although they are managed within Amazon Seller Central in the A plus content manager. And to get to the A plus content manager, go to advertising. A plus content manager, you come to this page. So one thing I want to say before we get started on doing this, you can see that this is a very visual type of um, tool on Amazon Seller Central. So what I recommend doing before you get started is actually to get all of the assets ready that you need uh, to make a brand story. And that includes a background image. It includes the ASINs for the products you're going to be selling. It includes uh, some images, marketing images that you may have already have access to. And then also it includes some uh, text. And in my case, what I did for the images, I already have some ready to go. So this will be my background image. And then I have a folder full of other marketing images that I can use. And then also I have ASINs on several lists right here. So I can just copy these over right into the, uh, to the tool in Amazon Seller Central. And then finally, I opened up my website which is not part of Amazon, but it has lots of text assets that I can just copy and paste right into the uh, into the tool. And basically, these are this is good marketing copy, so I can reuse it. So I'm not kind of reinventing the wheel. I'm already using assets that I have access to, and then I can give them a bigger play on Amazon Seller Central and on my Amazon product pages. Okay, so here we are, uh, creating uh, for creating a brand story. Press the button that says Start Creating A Plus Content. You will be prompted to do um, two types of, con of content, or maybe even more, depending on how your account is set up. I'm going to select Create a Brand Story. So I'm going to call this, um, let's see here, let's call this September 2022 Brand Story. Okay. So the first thing you have to do before you do anything is to create the brand carousel background. And the brand carousel background is this thing right here. It's like kind of the big image. It includes a, a headline and then some text as well. So what I'm going to do here is enter headline text. Well, let's go back to my website. Um, and let's do this one, family history. Preserve family history. And this is optional, so maybe I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Add background image. Now, I already told you I have an image that I want to use. It's this one right here. So it's called Five Women Writing Desk Tilted FGS Deposit Photos. So this is, by the way, this is a licensed <laughs> stock photograph I'm using. I'm not just ripping stuff off the internet. Um, you can also, of course, take pictures yourself. Okay, so it's asking for two images here. And what's going on is there is the uh, kind of the landscape view for the desktop version of this background. And then there's also the um, the mobile view, which will, which will look a little bit different. So let's Let's see if I can just find that. Okay, get rid of that. And this is my folder with the images. I'm using a Mac, but you can use a PC, of course. And let's see here. I believe it was, what was that one called? Five Women Writing Desk Tilted. And how come I'm not seeing it? It said State Added. All right. Well, you know what? I might just use another image just for the sake of getting this getting this moving. I'm not sure why it's not showing up. So what about this image? No, I don't want to use that one. I guess I could use that one. But I really want this one. Okay. So let's do this instead. I'm going to open up a new thing. Search for it. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go back to the tool, and I'm going to just drag it over. Now, I'm going to also try to drag it into this one, even though the format is not the same. That's 
this is a uh, portrait photo. This is kind of a portrait, but the photo itself is landscape. Let's see what happens when I do that. So actually, it lets you it lets you manipulate it a little bit. So I'm going to just do that. It's the same image. I'm just going to crop it this way. Amazon always forces you to add image keywords. So maybe what I can do here actually is just used the title of the photo. Okay. And add. There we go. All right. So that's all that's all set. Now I'm going to add hold on. I'm going to add a new module. So if you've done A plus content before, this should be familiar to you. And um, here's the different modules they have. They have the brand store and, and brand ASIN and store showcase. So this is basically you add four ASINs. Let's just do that one. And it's actually pretty easy just to add the ASINs themselves. So I'm gonna, I have my ASIN list here. I'm going to do this one. And it, pull, it pulls in the image from the product. But if I want to, I can replace that photo. ASIN 2. Let's do this one. OK. ASIN 3. That one. And then ASIN 4, I'm going to do another bundle. Well, actually, let's do this one. OK. So as I said before, if I wanted to, I could edit these photos, but I'm just going to keep those there for now in headline. And I'm going to say genealogy for all budgets. So the brand store ID, um, this is optional, but it's actually, they'll have a shop all link, and it's a pretty useful thing to have. Now, what I'm going to do here, actually, is go to my brand store, and you can see there's this long... Um, after this, after the store identifier, there's an identi there's a number for the page, kind of long, long and convoluted. I'm just going to copy that and paste it right in here, and I think we're good to go. All right, add module. All right, these brand focus images, I really like them a lot because this lets you show off the product in new and interesting ways. So, let's actually add the image first. And I already have, as I said before, I already have a whole bunch ready to roll. So I am going to use the, let's see here. Let's do this one. Drag it over. And basically the minimum number of tiles you can have is, is uh, I think it's five or six. So I'm going to do, let's just do six and keep on moving. Okay. And then enter the headline. Okay. Worksheets for genealogy. I'm just making that up. But if I wanted to, I could copy it from my website. All right. That looks good. Let's add another module. So um, I think the fact is a pretty important one to have. So let's do that. And basically, you can choose from custom questions, or you can use the ones that they post there. Um, so what makes our products unique? Let's see here. I think this is an opportunity to go back to the website. And I'm just going to copy some text from that. Okay, this is perfect. So see, so so see what I'm doing here. I'm just I'm not going to reinvent the text I need to put there. So they want three questions. Why do we love what we do? And that also I can drag from the website. Actually, you know what? I saw something on the front page of the website. I might just do that. And sorry if I seem a little bit disorganized, but maybe 
maybe I can elaborate. We have a passion for genealogy and family history. And then custom. Do these charts make good gifts? And the answer is, of course, OK. So I have three questions here and some responses. You can see that there's a counter down here. So you, you can't add too much text. You have to keep the responses brief. But I think that's pretty useful. I have 50 characters left. So I think that's good enough. Add module. I'm going to add another brand focus image. And let's drag one over. Let's do this one. OK, framed FGS. Add. OK. I'm just going to say what this product is. And then let's do another brand ASIN thing. And I'm just going to use a different set of ASINs. So we didn't do this one last time. This, by the way, is a virtual bundle. But the other ones are kind of standalone products. OK, that's good. Getting some good variety here. Then. Okay. That headline. Um, large print charts. Okay. This one actually isn't large print, so I'm going to get another one. Yeah, this one is. Okay. So I think we're good. So I have six tiles there, five or six tiles in the background image. And next, apply ASINs. So you have to search for ASINs, and you can either do them. Uh, so let's actually just do this one. And then click Apply Content. Applying this content will override the existing content on these detail pages. Proceed. Yeah, let's do that. OK. So I could keep on adding ASINs if I want. I have like 23. I tried using the bulk upload feature yesterday. Basically, you create a comma-separated value file with just the ASINs in it. It didn't work for some reason. Oh, actually, it did work. But then it gave me an error message because one of the ASINs was actually not in the in my brand catalog. I don't know what was up with that. Um, but I think let's just keep it like this just for the sake of simplicity. Next, review and submit. So you can actually see what it looks like, which is great. I recommend looking at the mobile view. And the reason is, is because most people on Amazon, they actually, they, they look at, they do look at the uh, mobile view. Now, unfortunately, I can't, I can't actually scroll through it. But let's go back to desktop. So I can just kind of see what everything looks like. I actually might go back and change this one. It doesn't look too good. But just for the sake of speed, let's just say I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to submit for approval. You're submitting your content to Amazon for review and publication. It can take up to seven business days for your content to be reviewed and then 24 hours for it to appear on the detail page after it's published. If your content is not approved, you will be notified of the reasons in the content. So that's great. Uh, I actually found that it was approved pretty rapidly, which is probably because it's not a busy time of the year. But during the holiday period, of course, it will be much harder to do it. So I suggest getting this done early if you can. But once you have it, it actually makes the it really makes your detail page stand out. So I think this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, thank you, Amazon, for actually enabling it for all kinds of sellers, not just the giants. And uh, for more information on how to get the most out of selling on Amazon, uh, go to leanmedia.org. That's my official blog. Click on blog or video and you can see all the posts that I have. It's all free. Basically trying to help you uh, use Amazon Seller Central, Amazon Advertising, Shopify, and other types of platforms. Uh, to make better decisions about your business and to do business the right way and basically connect with uh, connect with customers. If this video helped. Please take a moment to like it and follow me. Thank you so much for watching.